Now I am planning on dropping a video about 15 cheap mods that every M140i owner, or just F20 owners in general, should consider buying or doing. But this pairing totally deserves to have a video of its own. I couldn't believe the results, and this isn't me acting up to the cameras or using a clickbait title to get views, it genuinely is the best £40 I've spent on the car. And if you don't believe me, then you can make your own mind up. Let's get into it. The One Series comes with your bog standard wing mirrors like any other car really, which is absolutely fine, but you know, that just means there's a bit of room for improvement. Luckily there are plenty of aftermarket pieces you can pick and choose from online and the majority of the time the replica stuff is just as good as the genuine gear. From day one I knew I wanted to swap out the ferret grey caps on my M140i for some M3 style ones with the little winglets, and a few weeks ago I noticed someone on the forum fitting the dynamic indicators at the same time, a bit pointless considering we never use them. Hmm. Anyway, I had a search about on Google and the prices for these indicators were coming back anywhere from £25 to £60, and the mirror caps were about the same. But because I'm a sucker for a bargain, I kept digging and digging and digging until I hit gold. And I did. Right, so I didn't actually order the cheapest indicators. In an attempt to get them a bit faster, I bought them from a UK-based seller on eBay. But then I made the daft mistake of ordering the wing mirror caps from China. So that was a bit stupid, wasn't it? All is well ordering the cheapest shit on the internet, but if the parts don't fit, you might as well have just flushed the money you've spent on them down the bog. So I just had to wait for them to arrive, and hopefully they'd be half decent. Otherwise, I'd have to fork out £150 on these forged carbon ones that I really didn't have to have, but I mean, God, they look good. In the meantime, the tools that you'll need to do this job are as follows. A prying tool a T10 Allen key, and uh, well, that's it really. A couple of weeks later, and with both packages here, it was time to fit them. First off, pop the ignition on and tilt the mirrors forwards. This is going to help you with prying the glass out. Now just be careful when you're doing this, because if you crack it, you're not just going to be having a bad day, you'll also have to fork out for some replacements, and then this won't be as cheap as it should be, will it? Anyway, once they're out, there are five T10 torque screws to remove, which just sort of loosens the full mirror housing so you can jiggle stuff about. When I did the other side, I was a bit lazy and just took out the bottom three. You can fit everything by just removing those three, but for the sake of taking out an extra two screws, you might as well do it. Makes life a little bit easier. After that, you pop out the existing mirror caps by squeezing the little tabs together and pulling it off. Oi oi. Then it's just as easy as removing the indicator and disconnecting it. Try not to smack yourself in the face like I did though, idiot. That leaves you with all the old gear off and the new stuff ready to fit. As you can see, the indicators were a bit better packaged than those mirror caps that I showed you earlier, but if I compare the replica M3 caps with the genuine ones, I couldn't tell the difference to be honest. Well, apart from the colour. The full assembly looks a lot more stealthy now, and you just have to reverse the procedure pretty much to refit them. Indicator plugged in and lined up, mirror cap on, mirror in, mirror back off because I forgot to fit those screws, mirror back in, test, mirror back off because I broke the little motor when I was pushing the mirror on, fix that, refit it, mirror back on, test, and jobs are gooden. Then you just have to repeat that process on the other side and you're laughing, well, minus the things that I temporarily broke. And there you have it, a nice cheap little upgrade that makes the world a difference. The fitment is bang on and the LEDs and the indicators are actually brighter than the standard ones as well. So if your lass is moaning at you for buying more mods, just tell her you're doing it for safety reasons. That should shut her up. In total, I paid £42.86 for this setup and I'll leave a link to where I bought each part down in the description, as I can sort of vouch for those places now. But I dare say, if you buy the even cheaper ones, they'll more than likely be coming from the same factory. And with a bit of looking around, you can pick all of it up for just under £30 if you don't mind waiting a couple of weeks for stuff to arrive. There's not too many steps to this installation, but it's just a bit fiddly, so just remember to take it steady. You don't want to be breaking that glass. If you liked the video, drop it a thumbs up. There's plenty more M140i content on the way, and there's some already on the channel, so be sure to subscribe as well if you're not. If you've got any questions, just fire them away in the comments, or shoot me a DM over on my socials. I'll leave links to both my Instagram and Twitter down in the description for you as well. See you in the next one. Bye!